Yeah. Hi, Charlie. Um, my question, um, a big a big part for me why I'm not voting. Sorry. Uh, a big part for me why I'm not voting for Trump. I feel like. I feel like he. Uh, he says he has a lot of aspirations for the country, and he doesn't really convey his plan the best. Um, one specific thing for me right now, obviously you brought up World War III as a possibility of happening. Um, specifically, what do you think Trump will do to ease tension in the Middle East? Because I normally find that conservatives are more pro-Israel, so it seems, at least from my perspective, if he is elected into office, he would help Israel more, and I don't think that would better the situation. Maybe I'm not educated completely on the situation, but what do you think Trump would do specifically to kind of ease tension and get us out of there uh, and keep stuff more nationalized, keep money inside the country? Yeah, it's a great question. So first, uh, Trump has a lot of gifts. Putting together detailed plans is not something he's focused right. on. Okay. However, unlike in 2016, you see the guy laughed there. You can come up to the mic any time. Oh, no, I'm just observing, sir. Yeah, yeah, you're just laughing with a mask on. Right, so... Um, he already showed us for four years what he does. So we see what he did. And so he brokers peace through strength. He comes in with a very strong-handed approach, brings the people in the room. For example, when he was president, we had peace in the Middle East. We had the thing that called the Abraham Accords. I encourage you to look it up. Israel, Saudi Arabia, the UAE had peace and actually had amazing tension, tensions that were going down. We also, Vladimir Putin did not invade Ukraine when Trump was president. So President Trump, he, he will not come together with this nine-point plan right. because that, that's silly for many reasons. Instead, he'll give you principles and guiding direction of what he'll do. But more importantly, guys, the guesswork is not there. He did it for four years. And for four years, we had no new wars, a secure border, and everyone was able to own a home if they so choose. If you had an income over $75,000 a year combined with your family, which most Americans do if you combi combine um, uh, two-spouse income, and we do not have that now. And so... I hear your hesitation. As far as the specifics here, he will bring peace to the Middle East by trying to relax tensions and then also uh, playing offense against Iran, which worked during his four years as president. And then also my second question. Um, I've heard a lot in the media lately, um, Trump's tariff plan on China. Um, at least from my research, I've seen that that would drive consumer prices up in the United States. And I know a big thing and a big talking point for conservatives is obviously driving prices down within the country. Um, what other things would Trump do to drive prices down? Because, like, that one big thing obviously is something that would drive prices up. So it, it won't. Again, you're being lied to by the media. Again, why did prices not go up when he did his tariffs during his first four years? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm talking to you to be educated, right? No, no, I'm not putting it on you. It's right. just a question to ask. But like, sure. wait, he applied 200 tariffs when he was president. Why didn't things get more expensive? Now, let me explain to you from an economic standpoint of why that is. So when you have a tariff... How does a company avoid a tariff? The best way to avoid a tariff is what? Keep Make your good in the country. Right. And so, for example, Lyndon Baines Johnson put on a 25% tariff on pickup trucks. This is one of hundreds of examples I could give. How many of you guys have seen Toyota pickup trucks before? Or what? They're very popular. They're all made in America, even though it's a Japanese car company, and that's how they avoid the 25% tariff. Does that make sense? So when you're the incumbent economic power, you should use tariffs as a way to try to drive manufacturing and production back and redomicile it. What will Trump do to lower prices? He, energy is the number one reason why prices are going up. He'll lower energy by drill, baby, drill. Awesome. I really appreciate what you do. Thank you. All the signs. So I'm, you're a maybe voter? Uh, I'm definitely leaning more left. Obviously, another big thing for me, I don't really like the way Trump presents himself. I think he can be more okay. sort of egotistical. Yeah, but let, let me ask you a question. Let, yeah, let, for sure. I, I don't see it that way, but I'm okay. not going to convince you. Yeah, yeah. But let's pretend Trump is egotistical. Okay. Let's pretend he's a narcissist and all this stuff. Whatever, yeah. But then the other side is super calm, brat summer, good vibes, right? <laughs> what I'll say to you, I, I hate to be a liberal voting for Kamala Harris, and I think that that is a pretty... Uh, big understanding from the left. I don't think, like you said, she there was no vote. There was no process, right? There wasn't. And I agree with you, and I think we have more middle ground on that than a lot of people think. Um, I don't like to be in this situation at all, and I think the, the choices cool. are horrible. L let me give you something to think about. For sure. So you're more of a liberal-leaning guy. That's sure. great. Tulsi Gabbard, do you know who she is? Yes, I do, yeah. She was the former co-chair of the Democrat Party. Right. She's endorsed Donald Trump. Bobby Kennedy, the first Kennedy ever, to endorse, endorse Donald Trump, has endor I mean, to endorse a Republican, Donald Trump. Now, those are two Democrats. Right. If they were here, you would agree with them more than I would agree with them. Right. Yeah, okay? Yeah. But they've endorsed Trump. Why? Because they see Trump, who does protect freedom of speech, 
that does protect us against this lawfare regime, that does try to end the wars. Yeah. Again, Tulsi Gabbard and Bobby Kennedy, those are like your top-level Dems. That's not just some like low-level thing. Right. So I want you to think about that of what are they seeing and what are they doing right. that is potentially making them so enthusiastic about Trump. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. And now, on the other hand, you don't want wars, right? Obviously not. Who's Kamala Harris courting? Well, that's the thing, Dick too, right? Dick Cheney? Well, like I said, I, th she's not going to do anything better, right? She's not going to... Well, it might be even worse, right? But, like, that's... We're in such, a, like, a unique situation, in my opinion. It's so hard to balance, like, what one side would do over the other since we've never gone through something. You know what I mean, though? Like, well, we have not, lived through Trump, though. No, I'm saying the war specifically. It's it's such a like, it's much more of a specific situation than I feel like we've done. Like the Middle East with Bush or whatever, like that all happened. It all unraveled. Right. No, but hold on. Let me interrupt you if I can. Yeah, for sure. The people that designed the Iraq War, yeah. Leon Panetta, Dick Cheney, they're Kamala Harris's senior advisors. So if you vote for Kamala Harris, you're allowing the Bush Cheney warmongering invasion machine to take over your government. As a liberal, I know you don't want that. Well, no, obviously not. So I, I know that you, you lean more to the left. I want you to think about those things, and I want you to maybe almost consider doing the unthinkable and voting for Donald Trump. Just think about it. Okay. I got you at a maybe? Maybe. All right. God bless you, man. Thank you, Thank you very much. We got more hats? Who wants hats? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Oh. Trump 2024, y'all. I love that. Let's go. No tax on overtime. No tax on tips. Hey, everybody. Remember to subscribe right down here to get all of our latest breaking news and campus debates. And share these videos with a voter who is on the fence. Uh, check out the Charlie Kirk Show podcast and like this video. And then also put a comment down there that might trigger the libs. These videos are going super viral. Millions and millions and millions and millions of views. So don't forget to check it out on my other social media platforms and hit a comment right now and subscribe. This channel might save the country. Thanks to you guys. Thanks so much. Yeah.